All right, guys. Tonight, I'm going to show you how to solve a static equilibrium problem. And these are the pin connections right here at A, B, and C. So you got A, B, C. And now, before I get to this problem, I'm going to show you exactly what a pin connection is. So we got this pin connection right here like this. And the only forces acting on this would be up and across this way. Now, if we were to have another pin connection facing somewhat like this, the only forces acting on this would be this. this. And of course, if there's another pin connection, something like this, the only force acting on this would be. So now I'm going to get to the problem to show you guys how to actually solve this. Now what we're solving for is both the reaction forces, if any, as well as the moment, if any, and the forces in A, B, and C. So now, since we have this problem, what I'm going to, show you, uh, I'm going to draw now is the free body diagram of this. So now let's draw the free body diagram. And what it's going to be is force here, force here, direction up, kind of like this. So now what we'll have is this force in this direction, AX. We have a force in this direction, AZ. Force in this direction, BX. Force in this direction, BZ. We have a force in this direction, CZ, and a force in this direction. Now, what is your reference based on? Y. Now, all of this is reference to this right here. Anything in this direction is positive, Y. Anything in this direction is positive, Z. And anything in this direction is positive, X. This is important to know that any of these forces, for example, this one, the 450 newtons, we're going to break this down into the force components of this, going down and going across. So we're going to have a force of this of 450 sine of 45 degrees, as well as a force going in this direction of 450 cosine. 45 degrees. Which comes out to what? Which both of these equal out to be 318, and this one will equal out to be a negative 318. 318. Newton. But it's going down. So now, since we have that, we also have this moment. Now, before I talk to you about moment, this, this moment is about the y-axis. So if you look at this, you have to put your hand like this, and angle it, like as if you're going this way. Now if you look at it, you can take your right hand and turn it clockwise. Just like this if you're going inward like this. But the important thing is not the clockwise or counterclockwise direction, but where your thumb is situated. In this case, we said to the right is positive for y. But our thumb is facing, is facing towards the left. So this 300 will turn out to be a negative 300. In the y direction. In the, in the y direction. Or, in this case, we could call this a j-hat. So, we'll have this force, this moment, right here, 300 newton meters in a negative j-hat direction. Okay guys, so as I was saying, we moved to the diagram, the free body diagram up here. Now, since we know this problem is a static equilibrium problem, we know that the sum of the forces, as well as moments, must all equal zero. So the sum of the forces in the x, y, and z must all equal zero. So we have this. Summation of forces in the x must equal zero. Now, if we think about this, the only forces acting in the x would be these two. So we have ax plus bx equals zero. We do the same thing for y some of the forces in the y, but we have this right here. So this is 318 newtons. Now we have the cy as well. So it's plus 
is Cy equals zero. And actually from there you can solve for Cy, right? Mm -hmm. And then we have the sum of the forces in Z. In Z, we have AZ, BZ. So we have AZ plus BZ minus a 318 because of our reference. We said up was positive. So it's 3, 318 newtons plus CZ equals 0. Now, one of these equations we can solve right off the bat. And that's for a y. We can solve our y literally just by saying that cy is equivalent to a negative 318 newtons. What does that negative 318 mean? And now, to our reference. Now that we said since right is positive, this arrow is now going to be turned the opposite way. So we have 318 going this way, so our cy was actually now point this way. Because of our answer says it's a negative. Because our answer says it's a negative, so we assume that our, that our CY will be pointing to the right, but because it's a negative, it's flipped the other way. All right, guys, so now our next step is to solve for moments. So, but remember, our moment is equivalent to R cross F. We're going to solve for this. So we're going to say our moment about the A axis right here. Now, since we're in static, the moment about A will equal zero. So what that means is everything now from this point out this way is going to be considered forces and R's and everything. So first we have this force right here, this moment. This moment, remember how I told you, is going to be negative because we have this, it's going this way. And the thumb is facing in the negative J hat direction, the Y. So starting out, we will have a negative 300 j hat. Now, to get our b, our b for x and z, literally this is 0.8 distance. So it's plus, we're going to have 0.8 in the j hat direction cross this. Bz and Bk, or Bx. So we're going to have Bx in the i i hat because it's in the x direction, and B is plus Bz in the k hat because it's in the z direction. Plus. So now we're going to go to this force right here, and the negative and the three. The intersection from uh, point O, from A. So now we're going to go from, so now to get this, to get our R for this, we're going to literally be doing, we have to get what this is equivalent to. So you will see this line right here. We're trying to find this, the distance of this. Now to find the distance of this, we know it's all of this, this total distance, as well as this short distance right here. So now that we So how that, would you write that in Cartesian form? And to get this in a Cartesian format, we, we will say, now this is in the j-hat direction. It's 1.2, because it's 0.8 plus 0.4, j-hat, plus 0.4, since it's in the z, k-hat. So that is just the dense is So the this is just the r. This is our r. Okay. Now we're going to cross this with these forces. Now this force is... 318 newtons, but it's in the j-hat direction. Why? Positive y. This force is a 318, but it's in the z direction, but it's negative, because our reference was positive going up. So we're going to have minus 318 newtons k-hat, plus, because we haven't stopped yet, we have to find to the intersection to this. So now, to get our distance from this one, we start out back at the origin, and we're going to go from here now. Now, to get this distance, we're going to have to go some form in x. So, if we go, we're going to go back in the x-axis now. So, we're going to go back negative 0.6, all right? I hat. We're going to go a 
positive 1.2 j hat, and we're also going to go a positive 0.4 k hat. Now, why is it a negative 0.6? Because you're going from A to C. In this case, since C is back in the x direction, it's actually back behind this, behind this, behind this y. So it's like kind of going backwards into the board. Okay. So this now is our this R. is our R. Our F is what we're going to have right here. Cross C Y. Which in this case we solve for it, which well, is negative case we three. Have it for y for right now. So it's going to be a negative three eighteen j hat and a positive C Z K hat. Now this this right here is the total moment about A. Go. Okay, guys, now you have, you should have this equation right here, some of the forces, and you should also have the total moment about A. So now I'm going to show you how to do cross product, and we're going to use this one as an example right here. Use this equation. And remember, this is our R cross F. That's our F. So now I'm going to show you an example of how to do this. Okay, so now as you see it, our R is on top, and our force is at the bottom. So now what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. Remember, to do I, you cover this, and it will be 1.2 times CZ minus... 0.4 times negative 318. So that's it. We're going to do 1.2 CZ minus 0.4 negative 318. This will all be in the I hat. Now, to do J, we cover this up again. It's negative 0.6 times CZ. So, Remember, it's minus negative 0.6 CZ minus 0.4 times 0. And this is all in the K hat direction. J. Or J hat direction. Now we're going to do K. K plus, same thing, 0.6 times negative 318 minus 1.2 times this times 0 and this will all be in k hat. So now if we were just to simplify this we will have 1.2 CZ, this turns out to be a positive 127.7. I hat. Minus, that turns out to be 0. Minus a negative, turns out to be a positive. 0.6 CZ. Minus 4 times 0, that goes away. And send the J hat. And this is in the J hat. Plus, I'm going to have negative 0.6 times negative 318 gives us a positive 190.8 minus 0. So this leaves out to be k hat. And this is how you do the cross product. This is product. how we do the cross product of r cross f. Okay, so now that we know bz is a negative 273 newtons, we know that our assumption of positive was actually wrong. So now we know that bz is in this direction. Bz points down. Our Bx is still good. Our Cz is still 500, so that's fine. Our Cy is good. Our Az is this. So now, our Bx is 239 newtons. So if we plug this into here, we know that Ax is equivalent to a negative 239 newtons. And now we know, as well as our Az now, is equivalent to 91 newtons. 
And since this is still positive, AZ is to go in this direction positive, AX is positive. No, AX is negative. Well, now AX is negative, so now we know that AX travels in this direction. And there you go. That's and all. This is the problem for static equilibrium. This is how you solve for three, three dimensional. All right.